and today is going to be the last day of our van conversion hopefully that means it's another day where it's 8 a.m starting here that actually sounded quite posh then didn't i oh i'm gonna need one of them we need the rest of the ceiling just normal bog standard hardboard that hardboard is going to be used for the ceiling just up there we've got this sort of just over an inch by inch i think it's 38 mil by 38 mil we've got another plan for that we've got these fancy dado rails i've got that thing there that's just to trim up some of the corners all the way around a couple of boxes of screws some more spray glue Ugh, 53 quid now i have saved a ton of money throughout this build so it's going to be interesting to see whether i've actually hit budget i've been really trying hard to keep to budget but let's see if i have actually kept to it within one of the next videos where we do a full cost breakdown and see whether we've done it or not subscribe for that somehow i don't think we've managed to keep it to a thousand pound build budget because you think that includes all the windows all the trim all the wood all the electrics all the leisure batteries all the drawers absolutely everything for a thousand pound in here you never know i am a tight ass and i may have actually done it we've also got these bits for later i'll show you what i'll do with them later but the idea for this is a strip going straight down that side and then patch up that side i think Doing it that way made it so that I only need, only need one piece of this wood. It saves a bit of money instead of buying two. We've got the line there, but the jigsaw here. I'll see you in a minute. We've got the leftover dodo mat thermal fleece. That's gonna get spray glued straight up to the top and then we can fit the ceiling. Give it a shake and give it a spray. Let it go tacky. You know, the kind of tacky that your dad does, the dad dancing in the middle of the dance floor when you're at someone's random wedding. Get the fleece and tack it up just like that. Snow cloud. The main piece is up anyway. That's all the corners and edges are going to be boxed in. That's not an issue. This side, we've got the gap, obviously. It's only a four foot wide panel. That's as far as you can buy. That's as wide as you can buy. So I'm having to patch that side up. Again, we'll tart it up afterwards. Just cut another piece up, fasten that up. We've had to take the lights down. We had a couple of little reading lights up there. We've had to take them down so that we can actually get the board up and in, fastened up nicely. Um, I don't know how good it's going to look, but we'll try it later. The whole van's basically been a trial and error sort of thing. Ceiling's up in place anyway. It looks a bit rough over there. It won't do when it's finished because we've got this trim piece to get put up there and it's going to be blocking it off up there. So you won't see that ugliness, so to speak. It's all got to get painted black and then these bits are going to get painted the same sort of colour as these just here. And I didn't cut into any of the wires because look, whoa, I fully expected myself to drill through the cables or something like that let's have a go with this stuff just here so what this is is basically just double-sided foam sticky roll but it's quite thick kind of a little bit like me and what that's for is can you see the blinds that we've got here well this side has got the magnets on it perfectly fine and it stops it from rattling the other side the magnets come off and when they do come off it does that so i'm hoping to just basically foam the inside of there so while i'm driving down the road it doesn't rattle the magnets didn't work. This should work. Yeah. There's the foam and there's the after. So much better. Then we went through and paint the ceiling. I must admit, I'm really not happy with this ceiling, but this is the budget build. There's parts that are not going to be perfect. I think with the next build, that UPVC cladding stuff. Yeah, I think that's the next build. We cut these lovely bits of wood as like a trim piece to go all the way up here. We do have a problem. There's gaps and stuff all over the ceiling. And that's because I cheaped out on the ceiling. The ceiling's a bit wonky. It's the same problem we've got with hiding the wires that are up above the sliding door as well. So instead of changing the ceiling, that's a later project changing the ceiling. So I'm just going to scrap those ideas. And we've got this trim piece that goes along here and it's ugly as hell. So I'm going to put some like LED lights up there. Time to start the flooring. Top tip, this was just an off cut from a shop. Look at that, 25 quid, 4 foot 11 by 11 foot. It's just a case of measure out what we need and cut it to size. Stick it down with some spray glue. And the joy with lino is you can just simply cut it with a pair of scissors. Chop away little tiny corners to get around the little nooks and crannies. But you do make a mess. There you go. A bit of contact adhesive. Spray the glue down. Let it set for a bit before we come back and do some more. Just wait until I show you the van now because that's completely changed the look of the van. I must admit, it's no showroom quality, but 
God, I'm so chuffed with myself for the amount of work that we've put into this and for what it's actually turned out to be like. Everything I wanted was in it. Everything that Danielle wanted is in it. And it looks pretty good for compared to what it was. Just a bare skeleton van and I am so stoked with this. But the job for now is this door here for that drawer just there and that bottom piece there is getting DC fixed. I've spoke about DC fix enough times. It's basically this. It's like... um. I don't know, a sticky, a sticker that basically goes on the front of there. We've DC fixed absolutely everywhere in this van. This and that bottom piece down there are the last things to do. First things first, it's fairly simple. We have to get the door off these hinges, just unscrew the hinges, peel the sticky tape back off the back of the DC fix, lay it down onto the panel that we're going to be adhering it to, smooth all the bubbles out of it and heat it up with a hairdryer. Wrap it around the corner so it's nice and secure. Again, heat it with the hairdryer. The heat activates the glue, which makes it stick just that little bit better. We lift it up, put it back into place, and then DC fix the bottom of the drawers too. Is that one done? I just need to put a handle on because I've got these little leather handles on all the drawers. This one needs one, but boom works perfect now this bit just down here we took the bottom drawer out so that we can just go straight up and then just fold it over because that's covered by the actual drawer we've cut a piece to size all we've got to do is peel the sticky back off it lay it down heat it up with a la hair dryer and that should be done that's definitely finished that piece off while we had some DC fix and a lot left over, I figured I'd have a go at doing this little trim. It was just an idea that I had. I thought I'd see what it looked like. I kind of like it. What we're going to do for these wires is cover them in conduit, sort of a tubing, get them tucked right up there. And then we're basically thinking of doing like a string of fake leaves and just basically floral all that all the way across there. Danielle wanted more plants in the van. That's what she's going to get. She's also got hanging plants to go there, one to go up there. She's got a load of knickknacks. We we leave the knickknack jobs to Danielle. She's great at that stuff. Let's take the van somewhere pretty and show you what we've done. Welcome to beautiful Snowdonia. What an absolutely perfect place to show you around the van. It's breathtaking. So if we look inside straight away, we've got the deep sink with the tap. That's the spray tap. The first modification we have to do to this is a stronger pump. That runs off water tanks, which are under there. You've got a waste water and a clear water under there. You've got your diesel heater down here. We've got a drawer. Currently, it's made for storage, but I've got dirty clothes in there. We've got the fridge. We've got the everything cupboard with loads of bits and bobs in there. This one, we've got the air fryer, the toaster, the coffee machine. This one, loads more bits and bobs. This one's where we store the power bank down there, where the toilet is. We've got all the overhead storage. Look, food, drinks, more food, cleaning products, absolutely everything you could possibly imagine. And that one's full of clothes. Down there, more clothes, electricals, we've got junk drawers, which I think is that one, just a junk drawer. Full king size bed. This converts into a single bed. Storage up there for the coffee stuff. We've got a storage just over there, which we've got plant to fit on there. We've got the air freshener. We've got another storage unit just there diesel heater exit just there there's another one down the bottom on the front the full flooring all the way throughout the only bit we are leaving for right now is can you see this metalwork that goes up and around the top we have to leave that for now there's a third brake light on the top up there on the roof at the top and it's not working it's broken so i've got to leave that clear so that i can access the bolts to be able to get that off and do it all perfectly remote control max fan deluxe and the new DC fix finish all the way around the outside just there. We're going to get something fancy to help hide the wires that are hanging down there. They're the wires that run to the back for the brake lights. They run to the back for the reversing camera. We've got a 12 volt socket there for our shower. More charging ports down there. And that is our VW Crafter camper van. In the future, very near future, we've got a few videos planned. We've got the big build video start to finish with all the hacks, all the tricks, all the money saving advice. That video will be coming out soon. Word of warning, that's nearly an hour, that's well, over an hour long. So that video will come out and then I'll upload probably a shorter one, probably half an hour long. Then I'll upload an even shorter one, probably a 10 minute long version of it. And we'll try and pack in as much information as possible into those videos. It's all gonna be one video start to finish. And then the next one's going to be a shorter version, but start to finish and so on and so on and so on. We've got a video that I'm dreading to make. It's, did we do it on budget? We had a budget of a thousand pounds to convert this van 
into a half livable camper. Did we do it? I'm not confident. We have to keep in mind, the van's not gonna stay like this either. This was just the budget build. So later on in the year, we're gonna be starting to rip bits out. We're gonna add a shower cubicle. It's gonna be a lot more high end with a lot more necessities. If I feel like I need them, let's face it, I've got my portable shower unit sat outside. All through the summer, that's gonna be perfect. But when it comes around to winter, I'm gonna want hot water in the van. That's a start. I'm gonna want loads of bits and bobs. Yeah, subscribe.